Okay, this is the start of what we had hoped would be a one day build video. However, there's a few missing parts and we hope Hooker is on that. So this shouldn't be here for too long. But today we are going to address the exhaust system in Diesel and Pix's uh, O2 35th anniversary, which has always, ever since they've owned the car, been a nightmare. The current headers really come down low and the current exhaust drags I don't know if I can show that real well but there's a, a weird v-band clamp in an odd size that no one makes anymore so it is time to replace everything and our weapon of choice in this is going to be the uh, one and three quarter mid-length uh, hooker blackheart and it's accompanying exhaust so we will see how this goes okay battery is disconnected we're getting ready to start but you can see that these are the little clamps that he has a hard time replacing now and uh you know this has been repaired a few times that one's been repaired a few times it's just so low it just scrapes it's already starting to get a little old. You can see it's not as happy as it could be. And it's just time. It's time to change this out to something that fits, clears the floor real nice, and looks good. Oh, God, you can see there's a giant gap here, so that must leak. So, the headers are in here, and they look pretty nice. Oh, nice stainless they look really good and then we've got most of the exhaust laid out here this bag was already open in the box and is the one that's missing the two clamps and the o2 extension so i was told that holly is working on getting those replaced but here is the overall layout and you know Without saying too much, it shouldn't be that bad, but uh, we'll see. There's always something. Kind of like, luckily, he found out there's a brace we have to, to replace, so he got that. They should mention that in the website. So, okay, we're getting ready to start tearing her down. Okay, everything's coming out pretty well. The uh, O2s, this one was not fun, and we definitely are going to have to, we got lucky, it had melted here, but it hadn't damaged any wires, so we'll probably be able to reuse that, and we just cut here, because, you know, this has been welded here, and we're not even going to monkey with that, this is the old and it's going away. So now we just gotta pop these hangers and slide the rest of this exhaust out. Okay, mufflers are out. Somebody's hit something here pretty hard. That's a bottom out. Probably jumping the railroad tracks or something. You never know. You know how people are. So we'll deal with those after the engine's cooled down a little bit. It's it's still a little warm up there. Okay, we're slowly getting there. Starting to get this all pulled. Plugs are all out, getting ready to drop the headers. Okay, we're slowly getting there. This header is in, its plugs and wires are all on. And we're just at plugs on this one. We're still worried about that back bolt. We'll feel it from below just to make sure I'm worried about it being slightly stripped but we're slowly getting there let's see what our ground clearance looks like holy moly you can't even see them that's a good start now they are mids but that's really gonna help okay the air pump is finally out that was conveniently located we're not gonna need it now 
with these headers. So this will pull up from above. I'm getting ready to zip tie that out of the way. And you can see that this is coming along pretty nice. We had forgotten to put that up. That's really fun with the header there, but we got it. Um, this was previously bent. I've got it bent most of the way back together now because I don't think that's going to be an issue for us. In fact, I think we're going to have to clearance it here. Whereas before they had it folded because the headers came to a different location. And unfortunately, because the car had headers, we don't have the bracketry here. And I'm certain I have one of these mounts somewhere. So I've still been looking to see if I have that because this new exhaust does rely on it okay just an update on where we're at we're starting to loose fit everything in here you can see there's quite a bit more clearance than there used to be and of course we still gotta figure out what we're gonna do here but as that's coming back and you know that should be fine he's at the part where we start modifying the pan hard in the track so yeah it's definitely coming along all right it's a good thing we decided to go ahead and extend this because when we took the harness apart we found these nasty repairs so that's gonna work in our favor all right, we're calling it an evening. It's Father's Day tomorrow. We got stuff to do. You can see all of these leaked. And you can see all of those leaked. Except I think this one actually sealed. Um, we got the air system out. Got the O2 sensor extended. And then I even got a nice heat shield and it's all nice and safe. This one was already good, but I do want to come up with a fastening system because I don't want it going like that. So we're still working on that. Yeah, and I spent all that time straightening this to discover that it still had to get mangled. We still don't know what actually goes here yet because the car didn't have it when they bought it. Um, although we're starting to wonder if it's necessary because, boy, this is already kind of solid. They've got the track bar dropped you can see that the exhaust is coming through the instruction said to do a self tapper and stuff but honestly with the hole that was already there it was why don't I just put the pop a bolt in there so they did that's that worked pretty good and now they're starting to figure out the mounts so these we believe are going to wind up right here you know this kind of thing and they're going to positively locate the mufflers. So there's one for each side. So yeah, this is really coming along pretty quick. Uh, if we had a little more time, we did get a late start. We'd, we'd get there. But, eh, you know, life is what it is. Nobody's in a... It's not a rush. We don't need it. He's got more cars. But overall, the kit's been...